Dad and Kids Play 1. What's good, everybody? I'm Dad from Dad and Kids Play 1, and this is Cable Move List from Marvel vs. Capcom 2. We're going to go over all of Cable Moves and discuss tips and strategies to help you learn and play the character better. With that being said, let's get started. Okay, starting off this list is the Viper Beam. The Viper Beam is Cable Projectile Move. To do this, do a quarter circle forward and press any punch button. The Light Punch version scores for four hits, while the Fierce Punch does eight. And just like any other projectile, use it to inflict chip damage and to apply pressure wherever it is necessary to do so. This move is also a great combo finisher, and you can also do this attack in midair. So like when you do it in midair, it uh the move itself will slow down Cable's descent. Up next is Cable's Fierce Punch Attack. Press the Fierce Punch button to shoot Cable's automatic handgun. You can shoot up to four times before you have to restart the attack. Whenever you do the movie midair, he can only fire one round from a jump. So like if you just do like a regular jump, you only have enough time to shoot one round. But if you do a super jump, you can fire two rounds before you uh, touch the ground. If you press down and fierce punch, Cable will fire his gun at an up forward position. While you can only let off one shot at a time with this version of the move, you can use this as an anti-air effectively. One of the things that I like about Cable's standing fierce punch is the insane combo potential he has with it. And when you pair the fierce punch with the Viper Beam, that's when Cable starts to get deadly. The next move on the list is called the Skimitar. The Skimitar is Cable anti-air move. To do this, do a Dragon Punch motion, which is forward, down, down forward, and press any punch button. The light version of the Skimitar scores for six hits, while the fierce version of the move does nine. This move is really great, and I love executing it in combos. While the move is highly effective when the opponent is close to you, I just love the visual effects as Cable releases a spear made of psychic energy piercing through his foes. The Electrap does what it names entails. It stuns or trap the enemy. To do this move, do a quarter circle backwards and press any kick button. The light kick version of the move is tossed at a lower height, but at a greater distance, while the fierce kick version is thrown at a greater height, but not as far. Now if you press and hold the kick button as you do the move, you will add a delay to the elect trap timer. This will allow the elect trap to detonate seconds later. Now this move doesn't cause significant damage on its own, but rather, it will leave the opposition trapped for about 2 seconds. Use this time to either initiate a combo or to go into a hyper super move. And you can also do the elect trap in midair as well. Okay. The fifth move on this list is called a crackdown. To do this move, do a quarter circle forward and press any kick button. And that's how it looks. This move is a close encounter move and only use it at the end of a combo or to get out of a corner. But the main use I find for it is to use it on an enemy assist after a successful block. And when you combo with it, always go for the light kick version of the move since it has less startup frames. And you can't do this move in midair, this is ground only. Okay. The side charge is a throw attack with a special input command. To do the side charge, do a half circle backwards and press any punch button. So, this is another excellent move when you are close to the enemy. 
Just make sure you're in proper range whenever attempting to move or else Cable will grab the air. Like so. You gotta be close enough to your opponent. Here we go. You know, I love it when Cable tosses the opponent and then he just stands there with the electricity flowing through his metallic arm. Talk about savage. Cable have two hypers in the game. The first one I would like to cover and is also my favorite is called the Hyper Viper Beam. To do this move, do a quarter circle forward and press both punches together. There we go. Do it again. Now, make sure to have meter since the move consumes one bar of it. This move is one massive combo and you can link it into just about anything. Make sure to button mash to increase the damage output and to add hits. And just like the Viper Beam, it can be done in midair. Also, you can hold up and down to change the height of the beam. So I'm gonna hold down. And now I'm gonna hold up. See, see the, the difference? And you can like tap up or down as you press the uh, attack button. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Okay, let's try this again. So yeah, you can tap up and down as you mash the buttons to add more hits and overall damage output of the move. The time flip is a cool hyper move that uses cable chrono abilities. To do the move, do a quarter circle forward and press both kick buttons. Cable would then summon a version of himself which would do a 13 hit combo upon connecting. The neat thing about the time flip is that it allowed the player to move freely as the hyper moves ongoing. You can do any move at your leisure except for another hyper move because, well, that would be completely broken. The time flip cannot be done in midair and it's best to do this move after landing the leg trap successfully. Catch him with the leg trap. I was a bit slow on that one. Let's try this again. So yeah, you want to catch him with the elect trap and then go into it. Pretty cool move. Here's what to expect when you use Cable as an assist character. Cable's alpha assist will attack the enemy with a light viper beam. His beta assist will use a heavy scimitar and his gamma assist will throw a light elect trap. Overall, Cable is a great character in my opinion. He has projectiles, he has guns, he has elect traps. He's just an all around dope character. Use his anti-air when necessary and remember that the light version of the Skimitar can be canceled into air hyper viper beam. Speaking of which, the hyper viper beam should be your main weapon you want to target your opponent with. As you become more advanced, you should start doing the air hyper viper beam into each other. Meaning that if you do a tiger knee motion, then press both punch buttons, you can cut off the super jump animation, then two in one the air hyper viper beam into each other for one massive combo. As an assist character, I believe Cable Beta Move is the best one, but I mainly use it when I play with characters such as Sentinel but it really boils down to play style and who or what team you're playing with. Whenever using an assist to help Cable, use moves like beam attacks or some sort of projectile to aid him in combat. These type of attacks go well with Cable's Viper Beam. Well, that's it for this week's installment. Uh, like I said before, please let me know in the comment section who you would like to see me cover next in the Marvel and Capcom series. And with that being said, I'm Dad Machine from Dad and Kids Play One. Hope you all have a wonderful day, and we'll see you next game. Peace out.